Okay, GNC, you got any configuration items here? Uh, negative flight. Capcom, looks like the last item we uh, need here is a stir on the H2 and O2 at their convenience. Okay. We've got one more item for you when you get a chance. We'd like you to uh, stir up your cryo tanks. In addition, uh, I have a shaft and trunnion okay. for a look at the Comet Bennett if you need it. Okay. Stand by. Go, guys. Uh, we finally got our Delta H update. Uh, do you want to just read it up to the crew or up point you? Uh, let's see. Now, can we collapse dead bands and do all that good stuff if we uplink here? Uh, yeah. That's why we just read it up to them. Well, if they enter it through the disk here, are they going to do it? Stand by one. Yeah, we haven't stabled out in that uh, attitude yet, so I don't think we can have any problem. Right, I don't think there's any problem. They haven't opened up dead bands yet. Yeah, that's that's just what I'm saying. The time to do it is now, guidance. Flight gun. Go, guide. As long as he's in poo and don't reselect it, uh, he can uh, uplink it or enter it himself, or we can do it either. It doesn't matter. Okay, uh, why don't you, you got to pass the data for the crew checklist anyway on board, don't you? Right. Don't you got a page up there? Well, why don't we read it up to them and that'll serve both purposes. All right. Both have them entered as well as why don't you tell them what page you want it in the checklist. Okay. Flight tell you. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, we're sure the right overhead hatch is closed and the uh, heater current looks normal. Okay. Five guns. Go, guys. This is Houston. Say again, please. I don't know what it was. Okay. GNC, you want to look at it? Yeah. Houston, we've had a problem. Roger, we're copying it, Capcom. We see a hard word. Roger, main B bus underbolt. You see an AC bus underbolt there, guys? Or, uh, ECOM? Negative flight. I believe the crew reported it. We got a main B underbolt. Okay, flight. We've got some instrumentation flights. Let me let me add them up. Roger. Okay, stand by, 13. We're looking at it. We may have had an instrumentation problem, Flight. Roger. Flight in, go. Go on, Tom. We switched the Okay, uh, right now, uh, Houston, the uh, voltage is, uh, is looking good. Uh, and we had a pretty large bang associated with the um, caution and warning there. And as I recall, B B was the one that uh, had an amp spike on it uh, once before. Okay. Roger, Fred. Enco, you say you want the wide beam with there? Yes. Let's see if we can correlate those times. Get the time when you want the wide beam there, Enco. In the interim here, uh, we're starting to uh, okay. go ahead and button up the tunnel again. Roger. Do we have the floodlights on? Yeah, that, that jolt uh, must have rocked uh, yeah, we can determine that from uh, the sensor uh, on, uh, see now, an O2 uh, quantity 2. It uh, was oscillating uh, down around 20 to 60 percent. Now it's full scale high again. Roger. And 
Sky Houston, we had a restart on our computer. We had a pink light and uh, and the restart reset. Roger, we copy Roger, that. Roger, restart. And a ping's light. Restart on the okay. ping, reset. And, uh, and I'm looking at our S service module RCS uh, Helium 1. We have uh, B as Barbara Pole and D as Barbara Pole. Helium 2, D as Barbara Pole. And uh, secondary propellants, I have uh, A and uh, C Barbara Pole. T Mag temperatures. Okay, AC2 is showing zip. I'm uh, trying to reconfigure on that, Jack. Roger. Econ, you're seeing any AC problems. Looks like we've got a lot of instrumentation problems there. Go ahead. That's fine. He's flipping a fuel cells around, flying. Well, let's get some. Yeah, we got a. Uh, you got any better ideas? Main bus A undervolt now, too, Sean. Main A undervolt. Fly, what do you want to do? Hold about your 25 own. 25 and a half. Main B is reading zip right now. Fly, have you got a SIG sensor type problem there or what? Flighty time? Go ahead. He's got uh, fuel cells one and three are offline. We've got main A volts, we have no main B volts. I have an attempt to re, uh, reconnect the fuel cells. Fuel cell one to main A, fuel cell uh, three to main B. Okay, fuel Just cell try that. one. Back to main A, fuel one. cell three back to main B. Main A, three to main B. Let's see what happens. Okay, now, is there, do we have instrumentation problems? Well, we lost, a, it does appear we've lost AC bus two uh, voltage. Main B is reading uh, uh, four volts, and that effectively takes AC two away from us. Okay. The uh, yeah, and he reported oh, water poles on the uh, on the fuel cell on the air two flight. Let's see if we get our uh, DC back. Roger. Go ahead, GNC. Verify that the quad delta helium valves are open. Now, are you seeing an attitude problem, or are you seeing some uh, uh, high levels that are giving you problems? No, it's some low pressures in the, the fuel oxidizer. Uh, it's be symptomatic of the helium valve closing and, and firing some jets. Quad number two, helium valve open. Quad delta. Quad delta. Helium valve open, right? Right. Capcom, do you want to verify that quad delta helium valve is open, please? Any other problems in the RCS? Fuck. Okay, uh, is that all we come up with for them? Uh, we got any other recommendations? Yeah, we wanted to get fuel cell one configured to main A, fuel cell three to main B. Did you pass that up? Let's attempt that flight. 13 Houston, we'd like you to attempt to reconnect fuel so cell one to main uh, A and fuel, fuel cell, cell three to main B. Tied into that tiger Verify that guy. quad delta is open. We went, went to wide beam with flight at 55, 55, 04, the okay. best we can tell. Okay, uh, Houston, I'm showing, uh, I tried to reset, and uh, fuel cell one and three are both showing uh, gray flags, but they're both showing zip on the flows. I copy flight. We copy. Let me, let me commiserate on that. Any uh, kind of leads we can give them when we look at an instrumentation? We got real problems or what? Flight Econ? Go Econ. Let's reverse the configuration uh, request. Okay, but wait a minute. We got a good main A bus. Let's make sure that whatever we do doesn't screw up main A. Fuel main cell a 2 is on main A flight. Okay. I'm not going to ask to change that. Okay, what do you want to do? Let's try to put fuel cell 1 on main B, fuel cell 3 on main A. We'll use the other uh, sensing circuitry. Fuel cell number 1 on main B, fuel cell 3 on main A. We're not going to touch fuel cell 2 flight. Okay, but if we got any problems in the system, I want to make sure that we don't blow the voltage off main A, and then we're not going to be able to see anything. Be 
got? Can we review our status here, Cy, and see what we've got from a standpoint of status? What do you think we got in a spacecraft that's good? Main bus A is reading 25 volts. Okay, main A. And that's reflected by the fact uh, fuel cell 2 is putting out uh, 53 amps, which is just about the most it can and keep our voltage up. Okay. So that's bona fide. AC bus 2 is zero, which is reflected by the fact we lost main B. AC bus. Stand by, flight. Zero output. Ecom. Go ahead, Ecom. Okay. Uh, if we want to keep my... Okay, Houston, are you still 813? Stand by. That's affirmative. Uh, we're Saturday. reading you. We're uh, trying to come up with some good ideas here for you. Go ahead. I was going to ask you to put a battery on flight. Okay, let me Go give you a reading. Okay, right. Andy, Andrew, to help uh, main A uh, voltage jack. I'm going to uh, uh, put my battery on flight. Say again, okay, Fred. Omni Bravo. Right. In the interim, to help out main A voltage, I've got uh, main bus tie uh, bad AC on. Uh, I would you rather accept the uh, 25 volt so we're staying on main A? Do you? Oh, no, okay, bus tie AC. We've got the 210. You got the 210. Right. Okay, that'll save a bit of power. Capcom, let's recommend selection of Omni Bravo, please. It's Charlie now. Okay, He's Charlie. Charlie. Omni Charlie. Right. 13 Houston, we need Omni Charlie, please. You got it? Okay, fly, we've got Omni Charlie and Hybrid right. Okay. You have Hybrid right now off the two tens, right? On the right. Eye. Okay. Ecom. Go Ecom. Okay, let's get a readout on a couple fuel cell pressures here. Okay. Uh, fuel cell 1 and 2 pressure. Fuel cell 3 O2 pressure. We're reading uh, 0 and 2 pressure in fuel cell 1 and 13 PSI on uh, fuel cell 3 O2 pressure. Okay, you want fuel cell 1 and 2 pressure. And 2 pressure. Fuel cell 3. What do you want there? O2 pressure. O2 pressure. Capcom, let's get those as a start. 13 Houston, uh, we'd right, like you to verify okay, a couple readings for us. Uh, uh, we'd like the nitrogen pressure on fuel cell one. one. Over and, uh, we need the oxygen pressure on fuel cell two. Still moving. Maybe we ought to stop it. Are we using RCS now, Buck? Okay, nitrogen on one and oxygen on two. Is that correct? Negative oxygen on three. Okay. GNC from flight. GNC from flight. GNC. Did you see any problems in quad D helium now? Does that look like that's cleared up? Rod, that's cleared up flight. We're in good shape. Okay. Now, are we using RCS now? That's affirmative. We're going to have to switch the thrusters over to main A to pull the attitude here. Okay. Uh, how much RCS we use? Oh, we used... Uh, okay. System uh, test uh, 1A. Okay, give me a minimum fuel usage configuration that'll keep me out of food. Right. Why tell me? Go tell me. The lem heater currents become essentially static. Right. Let's solve one problem at a time. Come back to me later on in it. And uh, two Baker, which is uh, three oxygen, uh, says 0.6. Two Baker says uh, 0.6, and uh, say again the other one. Uh, fuel cell one, uh, nitrogen, uh, reads uh, zero. Roger, zero. We confirming those numbers? That's Fuck, I need that RCS stuff as soon as you can get it. Roger, right, he's turned off all jets now. Okay. 
Okay, uh, we came up with those numbers, flight. Okay, Cy, give me your next best thing to try. Ecom, flight. Flight Ecom. Go ahead. Uh, why don't we try leave fuel cell two alone and just make sure that one and three are disconnected from both buses and make sure that there's absolutely won't be any load on them at all and let's see what happens to those cells okay barrett what do you want to do open circuit fuel cell one and three that's front flight okay capcom let's recommend we open circuit fuel cell number one and number three and leave fuel cell number two as is Okay, one and three open circuit two as is, and uh, earlier got a report from them that uh, one and three were reading uh, gray but zero flow. Yeah, Capcom, let's amend that. Ecom from flight, flight Ecom. Why don't we just open circuit one and make sure that we don't have any problems getting that back onto the bus. Okay, okay just flight. watch it for a while before we make any further moves with three. Roger. Okay, Capcom, let's just open circuit one of those right now. 13 Houston, we'd like you to open circuit fuel cell one. Leave two and three as is. Okay, I'll get to work on that. Like and uh, Jack, uh, our O2 uh, quantity number two tank is ringing through. Did you get that? O2 quantity number that's two is zero. Uh, that's easy, okay. Roger. Yeah, that's, that's because of AC. And it looks to me, looking out the uh, hatch, that we are bending something. Crew thinks they're venting. So we are, uh, we are venting flight. something out uh, into the uh, into space. Roger, we copy your venting. Copy that. Sir. It's a gas of some sort. Okay, let's everybody think of the kind of things we'd be venting. GNC, you got anything that looks abnormal in your system? Negative light. How about you, Ecom? See anything that uh, with the instrumentation you got that could be venting? Okay, uh, fuel cell one, you just wanted uh, off the line now, Jack, is that right? We just wanted it's you to open circuit, circuit fuel cell right? one. Okay, she's off the line. Let me look at the system flight as far as the venting is concerned. Okay, let's start scanning. I assume you've called in your backup ECOM? ECOM? Flight, say again. Have you called in your backup ECOMs now? See if we can get some more brain power in this We thing. got one here. Roger. Flight in, Cool. Go ahead and call. Uh, he, never mind. He's busy enough a little bit. Okay. Now let's everybody keep cool. We got the uh, limb still attached. The limb spacecraft's good. So if we need uh, to get back home, we got a limb to do a good portion of it with. Okay, let's make sure that we don't do anything that's going to blow our CSM electrical power with the batteries or that will cause us to lose the main or the uh, fuel cell number two. Okay, we want to keep the O2 and that kind of stuff working. We'd like to have RCS, but we got the command module system. So we're in good shape if we need to get home. Let's solve the problem, but let's not make it any worse by guessing. It's Apollo Control, Houston. Um, this rapid exchange of conversation you've heard, uh, may the main B bus uh, is off the line. Uh, fuel cells one and three also off the line. Uh, fuel cell two is presently on the line. We now show 13 at an altitude of 178,000. 643 nautical miles. Go, GNC. We're at 56 hours, 12 minutes into the flight. You whenever you need them. Okay. Give them to me. Okay, Charlie 3, Charlie 4 to main A. Bravo 3 and Bravo 4 to main A. Charlie 1 and Charlie 2 to main A. Stand by. Yeah, it's all a quad Charlie on main A. Okay.
10 plus Bravo 3 and Bravo 4. Uh, what are we going to be doing with these, GNC? Yeah, that'll give us one jet in each direction and each axis. Okay. Flight guidance. Go guide. He's getting close to Jim Willock. Capcom. Okay, Capcom recommend he bring up C3, C4. B3, B4, C1, C2, and main A, and advise him he's getting close to Gimbal Lock. 13 Houston, uh, we see you getting close to Gimbal Lock there. We'd like you right, to uh, right. bring up all we, quad C's uh, on main A, quad C1, C2, C3, C4 on main A, and also bring B3 and B4 on main A. I was going to recommend a P-52 in a minute. Well, it's going to take a while before we get to the point where we're even thinking of a P-52. Yeah, it'll course the line itself there, won't it? 13 Houston, you read? It'll course the line at 85 right. itself. Oh, yeah, we got it. Over. Okay, can you tell us anything about the venting, uh, okay. where it's coming from? Uh, what window you see it at? It's coming out of window one right now, Jack. And uh, could you give me the thrusters again? Okay, the thrusters. Uh, are... What, what uh, buttons? We'd like uh, on main A. We'd like Charlie 1, 2, 3, and 4. Also, Bravo 3 and 4 on main A. Okay, got it. Okay, the so reference there uh, is to the uh, reaction flight. control system right. thrusters. We're at 56 uh, hours, 14 minutes now on the right flight. Now, start a power down. Okay, uh, let's go down the emergency 1-5. If you want to power down, go. let us look at the PM and all that good stuff, and yeah. then come back up. That's right. Flight into Omni Bravo. You want Omni Bravo again? Right. On board. Omni Bravo. Capcom, 13, we need Bravo. Omni Bravo. Okay. Omni Bravo. What, do you want to go to uh, power down? Give me the page. Uh, emergency 1-5 flight. We'll go down, uh, try to get a delta of 10 amps redu reduction. Flight. Ecom, do you want to go through that again? What do you want to power down to? I want to power down uh, a total of 10 amps flight. A total of 10 amps. That's right. Okay. Capcom, we'd recommend uh, emergency power down checklist 1-5. We want to power down a total or a delta of 10 amps from where we are now. Flight GNC. Go GNC. Can we afford to do a PTC first and then we shut off all of that stuff with no problem? Uh, why? You think you're going to have a thermal problem here? Well, we could have. Uh, you know, I'll stay there too long. Okay. We... We'll run into that one later, Buck. Okay. I want to get our major problem sorted out now. You want the uh, still one one dash five down to one dash five power down uh, delta of ten amps, Capcom. Okay, thirteen. This is Houston. Uh, we'd like you to uh, go to your uh, GNC checklist, the pink pages uh, one dash five. Do uh, power down until we get a delta of ten amps. Over. All right. All right. Heat time from flight. Still flying. You don't want to get fuel cell pumps off, do you? Optics power is already off, I believe. We can do that on fuel cell number one flight. Okay, well, let's make sure we don't blow the whole mission. Apollo Control, Apollo Houston. That last report from uh, Lausma asked the uh, 13 crew to reduce the electrical load on the, the spacecraft. Uh, area, uh, not the pink pages, the one dash fire. Okay, uh, we'd like you to uh, go down that power down procedure until you get a delta of 10 amps, over. 
flight econ? Go econ. Oh, Roger, Steve. Would you not want to consider going into PTC? Well, why don't we get this problem here resolved right now? Which will uh, aid econ. our power down, I think. Pardon? Should aid our power down. I'd hope. Wouldn't it? Well, do you expect that we're going to be in a thermal problem for the next many hours? Econ? Well, I don't know where Theta Sun is right now, Flight. Well, it's pretty close to Quad A right now. So we Apollo we Control, Houston, uh, uh, Will. Uh, did you copy our uh, power down request? It's between A and B, mostly on A. All right, Jack, we're, uh, yeah, we're there right now. Where did you say that was located, Jack? That's in your uh, systems checklist, page 1-5. Apollo Control, Houston, uh, we repeat again that... You might also check for those pages in your uh, launch checklist. There are uh, emergency pages, pink pages, 1-5, and uh, we'd like you to power down okay. and be okay. you get launch the launch okay. checklist, Jack. Fuck, I'd Roger, uh, power down uh, until you get a amperage of 10 amps, less than what you uh, got now. Try to use any of the equipment on board the spacecraft, put things as you okay. see, that type of stuff, until we nail down what our problem is. Well, that's why I was recommending PTC, because we don't need any of that stuff then, heaters or anything else. Yeah, but you got to get the uh, CMC on. Apollo CMC Control, on Houston, uh, we and repeat yeah, again the, uh, that uh, precise period of time for, main bus uh, be on the uh, command and service Almost module is now off the line. The They're functioning with main bus A. Fuel cells one and three uh, connected uh, with bus B okay, that are now off idea. the line. Buy some more time from a standpoint of uh, reviewing the data, and it'll get us back into the uh, as close to the normal flight plan as we could. Uh, how far are we out of attitude right now? Uh, he's a fairways out right now, flight. He's do another verb 49 and fly back and then stabilize there. Flight Econ? This is a go Econ. Okay, I need one thing right now. He's powering down. He's down to 41 uh, amps total spacecraft. I'd like to get uh, my AC2 bus back so I can look at O2 tank 2 pressure. I have no insight into that. Okay. Let's get, uh, I guess we can put the inverter uh, 3 to main A, AC2. And then Let me ask you a question. Before you do that, would you like to make sure you got all AC loads you don't need isolated from the bus? Nah, let's not do that right now, Flight. I think we're in good shape that way. The main A is up high enough where it can handle the inverter. The well, thing that concerns me is starting is throwing equipment. We, we had a problem. We don't know the cause of the problem. Flight, I, I've got a feeling we've lost two fuel cells. I hate to put it that way, but... Uh, I don't know why we've lost them. It doesn't all tag up. And it's not an instrumentation problem, the best I can tell right now. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's discuss this for just a little bit longer there, Cy. So Capcom, start them moving back towards the PTC attitude. Okay, let's start uh, Jack, them going are you happy with the uh, people we have now? I feel it's going to be a relatively long period of time to try and nail down the problem. Go ahead. 
He's asking uh, how do we like his uh, Okay, Jack, right and now. on this uh, page 1-5, we uh, proceeded to the right down the list now. all yeah. the way down, and we're right now at BMAG number 2 is in warm-up. Roger, we copy BMAG 2 in warm-up. We'll follow you through. Go ahead. I'd like to for him to secure the high gain for you, Sergeant. Okay, and, okay. and uh, something is uh, giving us the reach, Jack, both in pitch <laughs> and roll. So I'm suspecting that maybe it's whatever it is that's venting back there. I've had to use uh, direct in order to stabilize this, and as soon as I do, we're starting to pick up rates again. Can you pick up any jet firing? Stand by. Yes, What's firing now? You got something firing? Well, we've seen fire. What direction are your rates in, Jack? Okay, I guess this kills the PTC, too, because we're not going to get into PTC as long as we got something venting. It's negative pitch and negative roll. Roger. Flight Ecom. Go Ecom. Uh, I got a little correction. Let's put inverter one on both AC buses, please. Inverter one on both AC. One. Confirm. So I can get some uh, AC bus power back, so I can have some insight into my uh, AC bus two telemetry, especially my clouds. Maybe the venting may be coming from that. Uh, and also, I think that the uh, fuel cell two pumps are on uh, AC two. And this will take care of it without switching the pumps yet. Say that again. You think your fuel cell pump? Yeah, it's fuel cell two pumps. I think are on AC two. Okay, but power. according to the checklist, he should have powered. He should have turned those off, right? So he said he was down to B mag number two is in warm up. So he's already gone through the fuel okay. cell pump stuff. Good enough. Okay, so uh, you want to configure inverter one on both AC buses. That's the front flight. Flight, I didn't, uh, I was listening uh, to the spacecraft, uh, and I didn't pass up inverter 3 to main A to AC2. Did you uh, delete that? Yeah, we deleted that. All right. Uh, you want to put inverter 1 in both AC buses, ECOM and CAPCOM, let's do it. Okay. 13, Houston, uh, we need to get some more uh, instrumentation up. Uh, we'd like you to put the inverter ECOM, 1 on both AC buses. Flight, or monitor this barrel when we switch it in. Okay. Tell me you and control from flight. Go flight. Will you take a look at go the launch data okay, and go you through your system to see if there's anything you've got that may have started bending here. Roger, flight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I want to report on that in about the next 15 minutes. Quick look type stuff. Okay. Flight final. Go final. We're definitely seeing a vent in the data. Okay. And, uh, Jack, uh, one of the items that we turned off was the uh, all the fuel cell pumps. Roger, we copied that. Stuff. Okay, and you might uh, let us know uh, when uh, fuel cell two needs its uh, pump back. We ought to take care of that guy. Fuel cell flighty kind. Roger. Uh, fuel cell two pumps to AC one. You want fuel cell two pumps to AC one. Fairman. Capcom fuel cell two pumps to AC one. Okay, Fred, we want uh, fuel cell two pumps to AC one, please. Flight Econ. Have you got anybody getting a log in this thing downstairs? Network from Flight. Flight Network. Bring me up another computer in the RTCC, will you? Uh, we got uh, one machine on the RTCC and we got dual CPs downstairs. Okay, I want another machine up in the RTCC and I want a bunch of guys capable of running D-logs down there. Roger that. Flight, did you hear him say he's getting uh, some rakes? We want to know if he's uh, firing any thrusters. Rod, CNC, watch those thrusters, will you? CNC, say again. Uh, have you got any thrusters firing? Uh, we're looking at that C3 thruster flight. It uh, looks like it stays on most of the time. Well, can we turn them all off and see if we still got the rates or any buildup in rates? Well, the rate that we're seeing is opposite to the direction of that thruster, so if anything, it's just trying to hold and not quite up to it. Okay, but he's been trying to counteract the rates with direct. He's been getting a uh, negative pitch in a negative roll. Okay. But he asked if we were getting some uh, thruster firings uh, that were not being made by him. 
I'll tell you what, uh, GNC, can you get somebody in the back room to try to figure out what the equivalent delta V is we're getting uh, so that we can see if we can backtrack to see if we can figure out what's steady. In other words, it would seem we could equate that to effective thrust and an axis and then deduce what's venting. Roger, we'll give it a try, Flight. Okay. And that might be of interest to the LEM guys. Hey, he also said it was coming uh, past wind to number one. Flight, Roger, we got that. Meet Omni Charlie. Omni Charlie, Capcom. Omni Charlie, please, 13. Ecom from Flight, what did... Uh... Omni Charlie. Okay, you got two good AC buses. What did all that tell you now? It, it tells me that... Uh, well, just give me about two more minutes, right? Okay, take your time. Okay, 13, uh, we've got lots and lots of people working on this. We'll get you some uh, dope as soon as we have it, and then you'll be the first one to know. Oh, thank you. Flight GNC. Go GNC. We would like to turn uh, thruster Alpha 3 on main A and see if that will help control that pitch. And at the same time, we can turn off Charlie 3. Okay, get me uh, some real-time plotting on how we're using our CS here, will you? Roger, Flight. Uh, in the pitch axis, we really don't seem to be using any, and that's why we would like to go to Alpha and see if that changes it any. Okay, now what do you want again? Thruster Alpha 3 to main A. Alpha 3 to main A. 
cap time. Do you want to pass that up to the crew, please? 13, we'd like to have you put uh, thruster Alpha 3 on main A, please. Give me a gross amount of RTS propellant consumed so far. Alpha 3 on main A. TNC. Roger, fly. Okay, okay, Jack, uh, okay. are you monitoring the quad temps and uh, quad A? Package temps? That's affirmative flight. We're still below the limits. Flight ECOM. So ECOM. Uh, we've really got to get that battery off the line and power down some more. And uh, we've got to get the main B power back so we can uh, build our pressure back up in O2 tank one. It's uh, down to 318 psi. See what main B down. We have no uh, we have no heaters in O2 tanks. Hey, what do you want to power down? Well, where do you say you got down to? B mag two off, not inclusive. That's affirmative. B mag two is in warm up. I think we'll go ahead and turn that down. We have, still have the wind with us, right? That's affirmative. So, uh, if we shut down the SCS, we ought to be a little better off, perhaps. I think we ought to press on and go down through BMAG 2 off and get those lights minimum. Okay. How much you want to power down another 10 amps? Let's go delta. get the BMAG off and get the lights down to a minimum. Let's go down two more steps. Okay, Capcom, we want to power down a little bit more. We want to get the BMAG off and lights minimum there. 13, this is Houston. Uh, we'd like to power down just a little bit more, so uh, let's get BMAG 2 off and uh, make sure your lights are down. Over. Okay, the lights are down and BMAG 2 is going from standby to off. Okay, Cy. Now, how long. The uh, BMAG is part of the uh, SCS system I want to try to get on the, the, uh, can, the Apollo command down. module. Of course, we're still attached to the lunar uh, module, so this uh, crew did report that is less of a crucial three, item to power down at this time. I don't believe so. Fuel cell one we're at uh, 56 three, hours, uh, 34 uh, minutes into the flight, uh, continuing uh, to monitor this as Apollo Control Houston. And, uh, we left fuel cell three as it was. Well, let's take this open circuit fuel cell open three. circuit fuel cell three. Get it off the bus. 13 Houston, okay, we'd like Jack, you to open got a range. fuel cell 3. Calling flight flag in. This DMC flight, go ahead. Okay, we've used a total of about open 70 pounds. Fuel cell three. Three. Uh, we'd like go ahead, to Jack. change the jet configuration to see if that'll help us out. Okay. okay, what do you want to try now? We would like to turn okay, the fuel cell 3 and all uh, the off the line. And all delta to main A. Turn all Bravo off and Delta to main A, right? Uh, they'll verify that it isn't a Bravo thrust that is causing the problem with the editor. Okay, Capcom, we'd like to turn all Bravo jets off and all Delta jets to main A. Roger. Flight Econ. Go Econ. Uh, uh, 13 Houston, we'd like you to uh, turn all your Bravo the, uh, thrusters uh, off uh, and put all, all your Delta the, thrusters uh, on main A, please. That's, that's firm flight. Okay. Well, all Delta thrusters on main A and all Bravo thrusters off, Roger. Say again, flight. Okay, you want to... I want to save the battery flight. Okay. Let's see, what battery have we got on line, sir? Say again. What battery have we got on line? Battery Alpha flight. Battery A, okay. And the next step, of course, we'll uh, then think we got to worry about getting some power on main B to get the pressure back up in O2 tank 1. Right. Turn battery A off, Capcom. 13 Houston, uh, turn okay, battery A off. Battery A off, Roger. That's why we were pulling battery all the time. Battery A off, Roger. Now you have no... My track, man. I don't have any current now. Flight Econ. Go Econ. I've had my flight to search hey, tank off. also and save it. It's we use crowd as much as we can. Uh, say that they again. Kill the bus completely. Let's isolate the search tank. Why that? Command module. I don't understand that, sir. I don't want to. I want to use the cryo as much as possible. But that would seem to be the opposite. If you want to keep the fuel cell going, the fuel cells are fed off the uh, the tanks in the service module flight. The search tank is in the command module. We want to save the search tank in between each entry. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. Roger. Capcom, let's also isolate the surge tank. Okay, you want to isolate the surge tank? Yeah. Oh, do surge tank, right? Yeah, what we're really doing is securing our entry systems right now. 
13 Houston. We'd like you to isolate your O2 surge tank. Over. affirmative and uh, we're trying to get uh, power to that tank. Stand by. We're working on it. Thompson flight. Any time. Did you consider put a battering uh, battery on uh, bus B long enough to get the pressure up? Well, I'm trying to. I want to determine whether or not the uh, the, the five amps is going to hurt us any. That's going to be in main A. Incidentally, I made a mistake. O2 tank one heated on main A. Now uh, we got main A with us, haven't we? Flight Econ. Go Econ. Okay, since O2 tank one heaters are on main A, and we've got them off now, uh, we'll be able to stand the five amps uh, temporarily uh, for a manual pressurization. Let's uh, have them uh, turn the heaters on manually in O2 tank one. O2 and we'll watch the pressure. tank one. Okay, we had a uh, service module RCSB light check uh, due to a packing temperature. Service flight. module RCSB. Flight, we copy that, no problem. No problem. We copy, Capcom. no problem. Capcom, we want to get cryo O2 tank number okay, one. Uh, read on. to the lights we got on now. Cryo press, fuel cell one, fuel cell three, main bus B undervolt, super pressure. Roger, we copy them, and uh, we'd like to build up the pressure in uh, O2 tank one, so uh, turn the heaters on manually. We'll watch the pressure for you. You can stand the five amps on main A. Okay, you actually, yeah. We're going to get we a paint bus for Interval, probably. Roger, uh, we realize that. Uh, we feel we can stand here. five more amps on it. Okay. Okay, uh, here, uh, tank one's on. Did you see your five amp increase in current there, Ecom? That's firm flight. Okay, 26.7 volts looks good. We'll watch okay. the pressure. Uh, flight, uh, to be consistent, we ought to isolate the uh, repress package also. Okay, you want to isolate repress package. Get one of your guys full time in the back room keeping track of the spacecraft configuration as we pass it up to the crew. You might use Larry. Why don't you stay on and get Larry in the back room to keep track of configuration stuff we give it to the crew. Okay, fine. Okay. And we've got the uh, voice recorder and we're starting to transcribe that. Okay, now has anybody started the D-log of the initial problem? You've got a D-log going. Have you got people that are going to be in a position to evaluate it? Okay. Tell them you and control from flight. Go flat. Roger. I want Lem Manning around the clock. Roger. Flight Econ. Go ahead, Econ. Uh, I want the fans on in uh, O2 tank one. We're not seeing a pressure increase. We can stand it. You can stand it? That's yes, right. Fans on in tank one, right? That's right. Primitive flight. Capcom, do you want to bring the fans on? That's right. That's right. flight. Okay. Yeah, he's got an MCW for uh, varied reasons. 13 Houston, uh, we'd like you to additionally bring on the fans in O2 tank one, and uh, we can stand the additional amperage on that. Okay, bring up the fans in O2 tank one.
Flight GNC. Go ahead, GNC. It looks like the vehicle stabilized considerably over the last few minutes. Okay, that could mean one of two things. Either whatever was venting is stopped venting, it's empty, or do you feel it could also be associated with the uh, thruster quad bravo we just isolated? Uh, it's possible flight. Uh, we really don't know yet, though. Okay, are we essentially in a... Uh, can you figure out what orientation we are from a standpoint of thermal control? I assume, what's our rate right now? Well, right now he has a, a minus tenth of a degree in pitch and yaw and roll are very close to zero. Okay. Flight Econ. Go ahead, Econ. The pressure in O2 tank one is all the way down to 297. You better think about getting in the LEM or using the LEM system. I'm going to have to power way down. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save the O2 for the third fuel cell, for fuel cell two, rather. The heaters aren't working. Now, let's start thinking circuit breakers. You got any circuit breakers you want to check there? We saw the current flight. You saw the current. Okay, right. look, let's look, check it anyways. Well, you're right. It looks like it's cycling up a PCM count from 297 to 302. Okay. Give me some circuit breakers to check. Okay, uh, panel 226. Trigenic O2 heater one, main A circuit breaker. I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch you there. Cryo O2 tank one, panel 226. Oh, cryo O2 heater one, main A, panel 226. Also flight, let's let's check the uh, fan motor circuit breakers, tank one on panel 226 also. Fan motor. Cryo fan motors, tank one. There are three circuit breakers, three phase. Get that cap come. I've got the uh, 226 cryo O2 heater one main A and uh, cryo fan motors. Tank one, three of them on That's three. right, all three phases. Ecom, I don't think we're going to come to any solution here until we get back to the initial 13 set of conditions. Houston, we'd so like you to check some circuit breakers on panel 226. Cryo O2 heater number one, main A. And check the three cryo fan motors, tank one, three Charles phases. Go ahead, Mike. I want you to get some guys figuring out minimum power in the LEM to sustain life. Roger. Okay, uh, Jack, 226 is configured uh, just like it should be. I got uh, three react breakers and three rad breakers open. All the rest are closed. Okay, Fred, thank you. You got the circuit breakers all in, right? Rod, copy all circuit breakers in. Jack, looking outside, the number of particles has diminished greatly, almost ceased now, which indicates maybe what was venting has uh, almost stopped. Roger, Jack, thank you. We copy. Flight Econ. Go ahead, Econ. Don't we have both the number eight and negative pitch, though. Roger. Capcom, would you verify that both BMAGs are off, please? And uh, 13, we'd like to verify that both BMAGs are off, please. Uh, negative, we just have uh, one BMAG. You want to bring it off, right? BMAG uh, number one is still on. Fine. Capcom, let's get it off. Okay, Jack, let's take BMAG one off. Okay, BMAG number one off now. Mark zero four hundred.
CAPCOM from flight. Well, you get a cockpit panel one, two, layout, and have the crew, just get the thing and just have the crew read across all instruments, all gauges, and write down exactly what they read in those things. Okay, you want a uh, survey of uh, panels one and two on gauges? Yeah. Okay. And talk back, huh? That's affirmative. Figure out some code that you can use, and uh, I think that's something we should have gotten started a while ago. 13, this is Houston. We'd like you to give us a uh, survey of uh, your displays on uh, MDCs uh, 1 and 2. Uh, give us uh, gauge readings and talkbacks. Houston's over. still going down there, Ecom. You got any more suggestions? Okay, we'll uh, start with uh, display Flight 1. Any more suggestions? Uh, I'm trying to pump up O2 tank 1 pressure. No. Okay, check on MDC 1. Apollo Control, Houston. Back on the SMRCS, I've got uh, helium one now are all gray, helium two are all gray, primary repellent all gray, secondary repellent I've got uh, two barber pole and uh, A is barber pole, D gray, C barber pole and D gray. Okay, on the ECS radiators, barber pole is gray. On the ECS primary indicator. Try to open flight. Go ahead, flight. Whatever planning you okay, do, uh, I want to do assuming that we're going uh, around the moon and we're using the LEM for performing the maneuver. Okay, the cryo at the present configuration is uh, uh, a lot smarter. I think we're wasting our time planning uh, and using to, uh, the uh, SDS. Yeah. Okay, fine. So I think all of our return to Earth type uh, planning uh, should be uh, assuming that uh, we uh, use like the LM-50 and our RCS. And I think the part of the line should be CSM-RCS. Okay, and I'm assuming you want that responsible return. Our quantities, H2-1 is reading 73 to 74. We'll work on it from that time on. On the O2 side, we're reading O2-1, quantity 76. O2-2, two, two, uh, peg, full scale, high. Flight Ecom. Rad temps. Go ahead, Primary, uh, Okay, listen, there is a possibility that we blew... Inlet, uh, we're reading uh, about uh, 55. The uh, O2 line Red in one of the fuel out. cells, and it's effectively manifolded it's, uh, there, of, of course. Reading now, about uh, 30. Uh, I'm, I want to shut off and, one of the... And uh, secondary outlet one of the fuel uh, cells. is reading... Uh, and that would be fuel cell 3, since... It's O2 pressure so is gone. Control. Now, two degrees. One, and the vap out is 45, the steam pressure is 0.17, and the micro discharge is 48. Two compressors reading uh, zip. That it's sounds like a good assumption the, uh, right there. Yeah, QSLT uh, is lost anyway. It's uh, reading uh, 30. Turn Charlie 1 pressure off. 
waste is reading about 30 uh, four. Now it looks like we're getting a lot of about 98. Secondary uh, red uh, inlet is reading about uh, 71. And the uh, red out is about 30. Uh, Excuse me, Fred, I'd like to butt in here a minute. Uh, we'd like to have uh, thruster C1 off. C1 is off. And uh, proceed. Uh, okay. My last uh, copy is uh, secondary red in. Ecom from flight, flight Ecom. Why don't you show me where you think that problem is? Okay, Clint's coming up. Okay, off. your secondary uh, rad in uh, gave to you 70, uh, 72 degrees. The uh, rad out's about 30. The uh, I call of F uh, temp is reading about 65. Steam pressure full scale high. I call discharge pressure about 9 uh, psi. The uh, cube, uh, secondary accumulator is about uh, 30, uh, 34 percent. Our temperatures uh, suits uh, showing about uh, 52 uh, degrees, cabin about uh, 58 degrees. Pressures, uh, suit reading 4.1, cabin at 5. Partial pressure CO2 is up to uh, a little over 1, about 1.1. On the SPS uh, side of the house, the uh, temperature is uh, 72 degrees. Helium 3, 3,500. N2A is really 2,300. N2B, about 2,450. And our uh, LH pressures, uh, fuel is reading about 165. Oxidizer, 170. Uh, fuel cells, fuel cell one, both clothes are zip, skin temp, 405 degrees, and then your exhaust is uh, floor scale. Fuel cell uh, two, right now we got an O2, uh, or an H2 uh, flow reading of uh, 0.13 to 0.14. Flighty time. And the O2 flow is right now pegged uh, full scale high, although it's been very uh, dependent on thruster activity, uh, need to get the, uh, which is also sure given the speed by the intervals uh, from a steady reading of about uh, 1.1 up to full scale high. The uh, T scan is about uh, 445, and the condenser exhaust uh, 17, uh, correction 180. Let's see, uh, if you want it on the uh, DC indicator, uh, fuel cell one is uh, zero amp, two is reading three, uh, three, okay. somewhere and between 44 and about uh, oscillating 44 to 48 again, depending on the thrust directive. We may have a have is, uh, fuel zero cell amp. number three, since that's the one that's reading no O2 right now. Uh, second, we Jack. may be losing our O2 through fuel cell. Uh, number three, the O2 manifold, in as much as they're manifolds together commonly. Uh, looks like the O2 and fuel cell one and two seem to be... Apollo to Control, right Houston. Continuing to troubleshoot and with the Apollo 13 like crew, uh, closely yeah. watching oxygen quantities and pressures in the command module. Isolating the surge tank leaves uh, oxygen for entry if uh, this should become necessary. Capcom. Also, Let's if necessary, the, the uh, 13 valve. crew could fuel open the tunnel and use oxygen uh, from the lunar module. Okay, close reaction valve to fuel cell number three. And um, you're saying that the uh, one and two look okay? We now... Well, well, it looks like, looks like the pressure's trying to stay up there. This is the best guess we've got right now, because we've got to stop this O2 flow. Okay, 13, this is Houston. It appears to us that we're uh, losing O2 flow through uh, fuel cell 3. So uh, we want you to close the react valve on fuel cell 3. It looks like fuel cell 1 and 2 are trying to hold up okay. If we're not venting, why not just for a while? That'd probably be better from a standpoint of thermal control anyway, wouldn't it? Are you saying?
saying uh, fuel cell one and two, and one and two are trying to hold up, but uh, we're leaking O2 out of fuel cell three. And you want me to uh, shut the react uh, valve on fuel cell three? Did I hear you right? That's affirmative. Uh, close the react valve on fuel cell three. Okay. I'll uh, I'll go to the SSR page. Uh, you want me to go through that whole smash for uh, fuel cell shutdown? Is that correct? Stand by. Apollo uh, 13, now 180,098 nautical miles uh, from Earth. Velocity now reading 3,219 feet per second. We're at uh, 56 hours, 58 minutes now into the flight. Okay, 13, uh, we want you to uh, turn the inline heaters off on fuel cell one. Then we want you to go through the fuel cell shutdown procedure on fuel cell three. Read back. Okay, shut down the inline heaters on fuel cell one. We're proceeding with the shutdown special subroutine for fuel cell three. That's affirmative. <laughs> 